Hey, I just want to say we've done this our fourth show here, and like you guys are lacking on the background. Like I've had the cool, <laughs> like it's clear like I want to go back to the '90s, but you <laughs> dudes, <laughs> like come on, you're not even trying. Like. Hey, how come you don't follow gotcha. me on Twitter, Anson? Is there something I've done to you? I do you? follow you. You 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 say that, but you don't, bro. Yeah, yo, I've gotten <laughs> a lot of trouble about your name, man. It's a whole mess. I told people originally that Wacklin was a nickname, so I put the font as oh. Macklin. Then the next episode, I put it as Wacklin, and then people were like, "Well, hold up a second. What's up with the nickname?" Then I said, "Oh, well, he got his name changed, and I just was informed about the name change and." It's just a mess the with whole the thing. name, dude. Yeah. So it's it's Wacklin, legitimately, right. because you blended your name with your wife's name, Wacklin. The CBL can't get rid of the Elam ending. It's it's, okay. it's, it's got to be a part of it after the summer series and in the in the actual league because this separates it. It's almost like the CFL three downs, wider field. It's just different football. Something different, yeah. yeah. We gotta hold on to what separates the game in a positive way to the NBA, it'll gain the notoriety of a CFL, you know what I'm saying? We're not talking about just comparing it to the NBA and all that. It's not even supposed to be happening at the same time as the NBA. You take a look at the ratings? Who, who, who got it? This... Okay. <laughs> uh, Will, you got a new segment that you want to try out. That's right. It's not a new segment. Well, not try out. You've been doing it, but you're bringing it to CBC Sports. The fans with three in the key, all, all both of them, know this segment. Swish. Or miss. So let's go. Swish or miss? Blackjacks. We uh, overrated them a little bit coming into this uh, this series. Hey man, look it. I got a couple things to say about that. Okay. I like the fact that they were all, all Canadian team. Then I'm just meeting y'all, and I'm hearing Elias talk about them in this elaborate you know, enticing way of what they're bringing. And I was like, <laughs> and they're Canadian? Yo, I'm with this squad right here. So I don't know if I want to fall under the bus that you keep running people over with when it comes to this <laughs> Ottawa Blackjack stuff. A lot of people, not just me, I explained it really well, of course, if Anson jumped on, but a lot of people had them with all the players they signed from management, the way this team was built up. It's natural that everyone thinks that this was going to be a team, to, you know, to come in and even though it's their first year in the league, do some damage. And as the games have gone on, I think they've played better. They've lost Phil Scrub, but brought in Lloyd Pandy, who was the U Sports Rookie of the Year. So this is a freshman and he came in and I was actually surprised by his production. I've seen him do, do damage at the university level, but to come in against professionals in his first game, he wasn't shy. He was getting in there, got to the free throw line a few times, battled against the bigger guys uh, on the glass on both ends. Uh, so I was surprised by his uh, performance. Yo, Will, you got a response from the Black Jacks, actually. Yeah, I tweeted out at the, uh, well, I just, it was, it was like, hey, must win for, for those uh, Carlton Black Jacks. And I think that uh, we got it, you know, if they were out, they would have, no way they're winning the tournament if they, if they lose today. And I was just it, saying it, that. And I was like, you know what? I live in Ottawa, but I was born out west, Langley, part of the Fraser Valley. Beautiful area, great river. And I, I gave my, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm a bandit. Bandit forever. You know, hashtag. Europe abandoned. So I, I yeah. put on my, my Hamburglar mask while watching the game. And then, but I, I tweeted at them. And then the Blackjacks gave me the old, like, the rock eyebrow emoji. I'm like, <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I'm like, okay. And then I mean, bandits had my back, obviously. It was a business decision. So that's smart. But I don't want to hurt the Blackjacks' opinion. But I mean, Elias got the play by play gig. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, so that's what it's about. Well, okay. What? 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 <laughs> Swish or miss? Fraser Valley Bandits, if you want to stick with them, have been the biggest surprise so far in the summer series. I'm swishing. I think, I think they were very overlooked. Only one returning player. Uh, they changed the whole roster, new coach. New GM. And they surprised, yeah, everything top to bottom. They run the ball really well. They get out in transition. They get after you on defense, which leads to easy buckets the other way. Getting open threes in transition. Uh, getting it inside to 40, who's been arguably the, the, the best player in the tournament so far after three games. Uh, but yeah, Swish, they've been the, the biggest surprise because no one saw them in this position. And if you did, it's uh, because you are from Fraser Valley, that area. That's the only reason. <laughs> I, I would say Swish too. Um, Saskatchewan won last year. Niagara had the best record. Uh, Hamilton upset them. 
and um, Ottawa is the favorites because of the experience and you know the, the the changes they made in management and all that stuff. So those are the four teams that I would look at. You're saying Swish because you're surprised Fraser Valley has a team. <laughs> <laughs> I, had to, I had to find out which province it was in. Beautiful area. <laughs> so I don't know. It's bad on me for not knowing basketball or not knowing geography. Yo. Cameron Forte, that's a pretty unknown guy in the massive stage of basketball. The funny thing is, his game, his game, he gets played off the court like in the NBA, unfortunately. You know, that, that game's a little older. So, but here in this league, bumping around a little bit, Forte. He shines. He's eating guys alive inside. Like, mm. he's he's a monster in there. He's been game. killing. Is he the best player of the CBL? She's definitely had the best start so far, but I think Xavier Moon, the reigning MVP, I think he's just so fast with the ball in his hand. He gets to his spots, right. yeah. uh, gets his teammates involved. I'd say Xavier Moon as well. He's got athleticism. He can handle the ball well. As we were talking about people who look like they're in fast forward in comparison with everyone else. He's an exciting player. So I know that he stood out to me to where I was watching. I'm like, yo, what's this, what's this guy's name? Xavier Moon, he's probably the, the fastest guy in the league until Andre DeGrasse gets drafted. We'll talk about that in a second. Summer, whenever, whenever that, that'll be. Uh, I just want to say before I ask the next question, thanks for the follow on Twitter, finally, Anson. That's dope, bro. <laughs> that was wrong. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, man. you were, yeah, you're dead wrong, man. I was on Twitter a couple of days ago, and, um, and Elias was talking about Rashawn Brown. Baller. I'm really liking that guy. Time baller with Sask, uh, Sask Rats. Swiss or Miss, CBL, the expanse. They got to go to Winnipeg. Is, is Rashawn Brown is from. Is that, the t- is that where we go? Miss. I think they said that the next franchise is Montreal, right? You want to go there? I don't want to go there. I think that's where the league is going. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, is this if it's going to happen or if we want it to happen? Well, the idea is like, who would you put in next? What's the city you're begging for? Or who want, who deserves one? It's a pickering. pickering. <laughs> <laughs> we would we would jump all over supporting a team like this. Just the next suburb, right next to Toronto. What's the nickname? Well, well, I used to play. I used to play uh, soccer back in the day for Pickering. We were called the Pickering Power. There we go. Because of the power oh, plant. There you go. Pretty good. Our, oh. Is that where Andre DeGrasse is getting drafted first overall? <laughs> Yo, Pickering he probably power? would want to do that. He probably want to do that. Do. That do. Absolutely. Coach him. He's originally from Markham though, and Markham actually would be a good city too. Might have been a thought of as a joke as far as Andre DeGrasse really wanted to be a part of the, of the CBL. And yo, I put the tweet out. Mike Morreale liked it, retweeted it, he's seen it. And I said, yo, Andre, retweet it if you're serious. He retweeted it, y'all. Yo, Andre DeGrasse is trying to be on the Markham, Markham Mad Men. <laughs> <laughs> and last Swiss or Miss question. The league should be concerned that Bugsy's has the best chicken wings in St. Catharines. <laughs> saying, look out. I'm not gonna answer. Is that in the safe zone, Elias? I'm gonna ask a bold question. Only one team is going to be left out. Who would you think would be the team that wouldn't make it through? Ottawa. (laughs) 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 Right there. Right there.